What's up, YouTube? Bam, and welcome to another edition of Wolf King's Vids. In this episode, we're going to be dealing with false empiricism again. Oh, boy. I promised myself I wasn't going to deal with this Croatia tard after he got his ass kicked by Aaron Ra again. But, um, apparently he has this new thought on intelligent design, and apparently it can't be stopped. Um, don't really know why it needs to be stopped other than by the creationists who keep blabbering on about it. But, um, le le there's a particular clip of the video that... I that I think is amusing. We're, we're just going to watch it right now and I'm going to analyze it and break it down. Alright, so. Here you go. And more so, what, what is really important and, and a, a typical uh, accusation that I see amongst the atheists here online is that religious people deny science or they reject science because science disproves God. Now, when the population of the planet begin to hear arguments like intelligent design, regardless of whether or not the majority of scientists accept that, and when the population of the planet begin to realize that the, the information that's involved in computer programming, the computer uh, the DNA as a computer code, now it's a computer program, um, and all of these other observations that are observed inside of the cell, that are extremely religious friendly, they are going to begin to realize that the these accusations of science being in defiance of religious ideas and views are dead wrong. And more and more people in society are going to be wanting to grab a hold of these ideas from intelligent design, or even young earth creationism, because these are going to resonate better in the back of the minds of those that have religious ideas and views because these implications of the data of DNA being a computer program or motors or over a billion pieces of biological machinery observing the cell, which is understood by mainstream scientists, not only intelligent design advocates, is going to uh, under, cause them to understand that these things are not proving any religion specifically. It is fitting exactly what they believe. Now, this might not be one of the... Yeah, let's finish it. The, a, a very um, uh, acceptable way to get it through, get intelligent design into the public school. I'll acknowledge that. But the reality is, is that the majority of the planet, the majority of people that hear these arguments are going to want to stand by the arguments that better fit with their belief systems. And because of this, intelligence is high and cannot be stopped. Alright, that's uh that, that that's all the um that, that that's all the clip that's required. Okay, um first off, his his initial claim atheists say that science disproves God and that's that's not what atheists claim at all. They it's just a lack of belief in a in a deity. And with regard to science um, the ba the basis of it, because there is no way to actually um, test or detect or contact the supernatural, it tends to focus on you know the the natural world and the scientific laws that are implemented through the scientific method. Uh, how phenomena is basically you know described by these scientific laws, and how they account for all the phenomena we see in the natural world, and you know the reason why that why that model of predictive power is followed is because of the uh, beneficial aspects that it yields with regard to understanding the spontaneous order of the cosmos. Um, there's no real reason to rule anything supernatural into the equation. And you know, with, with regard to your your comment about intelligent design um, uh, having you know having aspects of um, science being re religious friendly it be because you can intuitively assume that uh you know that dna is literally a computer program or a language or something like that is you're, you're taking high school you're, you're basically taking high school analogies and perverting them by saying that you know dna is literally a computer program or a language produced by some supernatural designer that's first of all that's an intuitive assumption borrowed from um, you know, uh, 
Paley's watchmaker analogy. It's nothing. Intelligent design is really nothing more than creationism in a lab coat. You can't, you can't uh, test or measure some supernatural entity producing anything within the real world. I mean that that makes no sense. What we understand about life is that it is a self-sustained chemical system capable of undergoing evolutionary biological processes. Literally every cell is a triumph of natural selection and we're made of trillions of cells, sort of like a little universe reflecting the, the larger universe composed of, of an infinite amount of, of atoms. You know, given time and variation, you know, we, we, we could see the genetic changes accumulate and, and the drift and the reduced dream flow and just the growth and complexity. You know, the, these are some of the things that molecular entities do given four billion years of evolution. We are, a, we are each of us a multitude in which the whole is in fact better than the sum of their parts because just given given our our emergence and evolution we we are essentially survival machines for genes we are a way the universe knows itself through human beings and you know we, we could actually test and measure and indicate this we can see the genetic changes accumulate and the uh, shared mo molecular sequences um, and genetic, genetic similarities and model organisms and stuff like that you know we, we, could, we could actually demonstrate this in in the lab we can't demonstrate you know a, a god a god did it hypothesis you know that that lacks predictive power by definition also um ju just with regard to these um to, to what you to what you said also with regard to the majority of the population um you know being religious you, you're just <laughs> You're really doing nothing more than producing an argument um, at populum fallacy, where where you're saying that, um, you know, because the majority of people believe in religion, they're going to go with this argument because it benefits with their belief system. Is if anything, you're admitting that this is ultimately faith-based. Intelligent design will exist so long as there are, are faithful religious people clinging to this um, to this unfalsifiable hypothesis this you know belief in a in an entity that is just you know too small to understand the spontaneous order of the cosmos in terms of you know the scientific view so i mean on, honestly e even if i said even if i uh, offered the the view that um god could have probably used evolution as as a process which um, a lot of a lot of religious people tend to do you know you, you ultimately have to ask the next question in where did that God come from what was the process they used you know what the hell he what is he was he doing um, with regard to time or anything like that and if you say he was always here the you might as well say that you know the universe was always uh, self-organizing and and be done with it you know the it, the the inherent contradictions of some supernatural entity exists with regard to the physical universe has inherent contradictions and the idea that the universe self-organizes does not and as far as the scientific community goes that's just a fact you know that there, there there really is no debate with regard to um the whole creation and evolution thing if anything it's nothing more than um than a culture war that's been blown out of the proportion um, mostly by the religious side and, and in fact you know they're actually losing you know that's why they have to you know uh, beg the government for money you know recently Ken Ham uh, you know had to actually cover this uh, I actually covered this in recent in one of my earlier videos in that he's trying to get government money from uh, from the state of Kentucky in millions of dollars for his uh, uh, Noah's Ark theme park project, which basically means they have to violate separation of church and state, and that's not going to happen. Why? Because, you know, just as as far as scientific progress goes, the more we understand about the spontaneous order of the cosmos, the lesser we need for, you know, a guy of the gaps hypotheses like creationism uh, to to actually figure this stuff out. Why? Because in an infinite universe... Um, that seems chaotic to the untrained mind. Actually, very basic principles of 
emergence, cosmic evolution, biological evolution produces this spontaneous order. But um, but but that but that's all I gotta say, Ronnie. Thank you for admitting that intelligent design is faith based. All right, guys, this has been my video. This has been Wolf King. Peace out. If you like this video, you know what to do. Later.